Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink, looking for the most trusted business owners throughout the world. And I, today I'm joined with AJ Richards, who by far is a trusted business owner, owner of Rush Club Human Performance Center. How are you today, AJ? I'm good, Brad. How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm doing awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. You have a ton of great things going on uh, in Arizona. It's super awesome. You have your hands in a couple different things that are really successful, but cool and really exciting. Yeah. So if you could just introduce your business real quick to uh, the audience. Yeah, for sure. And I guess, first of all, I'll explain why you're seeing like this half built place. Uh, we are expanding. So this is a, uh, a new location, not an additional location, but a new location for us here. And we're in Mesa, Arizona. It's called Rush Club Human Performance Center. Um, we are a strength and conditioning center. My focus, you know, what I tell people is I train people for one hour a day so that they're better for the 23 outside of here. I have no interest in you becoming a professional exerciser. That will do you no good in your life, right? I, I'm actually not interested in people who want to be athletes in, in, in the sense of competition and things like that. I'm more interested in moms and dads and people who know themselves as human beings that can do more and are capable of more. We just happen to live in a society where everything's made for comfort. And so we've lost that. So, you know, I, uh, the way it kind of explains, I says, I want to prepare you for the worst day of your life and hope that it never happens. And really, that's that's our focus. That's our mission. So um, it's it's all about sort of, you know, hard work. That's what we do here. It's hard work, picking stuff up, putting it down. It's, it's still functional fitness. So we do functional fitness because um, picking stuff up, putting it down, running, jumping, twisting, spinning, tumbling, lifting, all of that kind of stuff is things you have to do every day and things that you may have to do if you weren't prepared for it, if something goes south, whether you're, you know, who knows, camping, road trip, you, you just never know. I always tell people, 100% of the people never thought they were gonna get in trouble. And so why not be prepared True. for it? True, and I think you just answered my next question was, who's watching right now that your gym and your facility would be perfect for? And I think you just said it, the moms, the dads, just the everyday people coming yes. in, and we'll get into the testimonials later, but you are able to help a wide variety of people, whether they have an injury. Um, tell me about the kind of the range, the type of people that are watching, if they have injuries or you know, if mm -hmm. they feel overweight, who are those people that, that are watching right now? Yeah, that's a great question. So I've, I've actually had, I've been fortunate enough to have a couple of really amazing experiences since becoming a trainer. Um, one, I got to work with Chris and Heidi Powell for two seasons. They're the, they're the extreme makeover weight loss TV show. So our facility was the uh, boot camp for them while they were going through their, their year of transformation, season three and season four. And so what that meant was if they were having a hard time staying on track and, and meeting the goals, they would, Chris and Heidi would fly them in here to Mesa because that's where, this is where they live. And then they would come to my gym and I would train them. I would coach cool. them. And so, you know, these, these are people who started at 350 pounds, you know, plus or minus, but but that's where they were when they started. And this functional movement is what they did. And, and I coached them on it. So if you're at that level, if you're looking to lose weight and you're not sure where to go, we, we can handle that here. And everything we do is infinitely scalable. So no matter what we're doing, we can modify it for you. And that's probably my favorite thing is that in, in one part of the gym, actually it's kind of mixed. So you look at the gym and you'll have this high school athlete participating in the workout next to, you know, 75 year old grandma that just beat breast cancer. You know, we have a, a, a student named Darlene. She just beat breast cancer. She's 75 years old. She's your typical, you want to give a big hug grandma, you know, grandma that, that we all have or know, and that's her. And so it's, it's awesome to see these guys working hand in hand cool. together. Um, and then we also work with adaptive athletes as well. So I've, uh, I've got an athlete that lost both of his legs in Afghanistan and uh, I, you know, this was like the first training facility that he came into after after that. And then I also worked with a gentleman that um, uh, was a partner of mine for a little while. You actually met him, Brad, is Steve Heideman. Um, I met him. He's He has a T11, T12 spinal cord injury. Well, it's an incomplete, so it's not fully severed. Um, but he came to me after about a year and a half of traditional physical therapy, and they kind of hit a wall. And he called me. He said, hey, can you work with somebody in this, with the spinal cord? And I said, hey. I have zero experience with that. And I said, but if you come in, I'm going to treat not. you as if you're the last person on the planet. Like cool. there's nobody else left and you've got to survive. And that's how we're going to train. 
Like, what do you have to do to move yourself around? And so what we did when he came in, he rolled in. He, he had a little bit of feeling left in his legs, but really nothing at all. And so from the ceiling, we had, you know, like, like uh, muscle up rings. I, uh, I attached a rubber band, a big thick rubber band, and I had him roll his chair under that band, under that ring, lock okay. his chair, and I said, now I want you to pull yourself out of the chair and stand up. And so the reason I used the rubber band is because it's gonna give, right? If it was a solid object, he could rely more on his arms and his, to pull himself up. But with right, a right. band at some point, even if he doesn't feel it, he's gonna have to engage his posterior chain, even if he doesn't recognize it. And obviously, if he can stand up. And I said, now, if you start to fall, I want you to hold onto that band and, and you'll crash slowly. And so he did three reps and then fell to the ground. And I said, great, get up. Now, I didn't know at the time, but me telling him, great, get up, and not running to help him was what made a difference. Because That's what in traditional physical therapy, everything is safe, right? They're on treadmills with the, the, air, the air treadmills and things like that. And all of that's great, and it gets you to a certain point. But at some point, you have to fail to learn or fail to grow. And if everybody around you is worried about insurance and lawsuits and you failing and getting hurt or whatever. You're never going to get better. Never going to get better. Yeah. And so we, we pursued that. And over six months, he made progress after progress after progress. In six months, I was at the computer standing up, putting somebody's results in for a workout they had just done. And I hear he says, look, Ma, no hands. And I turn <laughs> around and – he lifts his canes up. So by this time, we had graduated him all the way to walking canes, which from three, from yeah. three, uh, you know, I don't know, standing up three times to walking with canes is already a massive improvement. Huge. And then he picked up his canes and he took six steps with no support other than his uh, little plastic things he has for his feet for yeah. dorsal flexion. Wow. And, and I'm like, and he goes, I look like a freaking baby penguin, but I'm walking, you know, because it's kind of waddling. But so that's awesome. Long yeah. answer for your question. <laughs> anybody, every single human being can do something. And what we do is help you find what the limits of that something is. I think that's what plays a huge difference between a facility like yours. It's one on one. People are getting to know you. You're helping them any way you possibly can. And just a gym where you walk in and do your own thing. Right. You have to build that relationship with them, figure out what they need. And then you're able to help them reach their goals. doesn't matter what the goals are, but you have that relationship with them. Now, AJ, right. I, I know you have a passion for helping people. Is, this the, is that the exact reason why you got into the health and fitness world is um, for your passion helping people or did you just stumble upon it? You know, that's a great question. Um, to be honest with you, I would probably say no because my, I, I was trying to find something that I could be good at first. Now, I love helping yeah, people true. and I didn't know the impact I could make on people when I got into it, right? So it was interesting. So I was trying to, you know, I'm a I'm military veteran. I was struggling with some depression when I got home because um, I didn't have purpose. And then I went into a CrossFit gym and all of a sudden that high intensity workout started releasing hormones in my body that I hadn't had released since being out of the military, dopamine, okay. adrenaline, and serotonin, right? Yeah. And uh, and then all of a sudden I was like, whoa. and, and that, that initial moment for me started giving me clarity of mind to then start seeking, okay, what do I want to do with my life? And, and um, after a few months of doing that myself, I was like, man, this is cool. I'd like to own my own place and teach people how to do this. And so I initially opened up as a CrossFit gym. And um, we were the first CrossFit zone, 2012. And uh, I had this idea that my first clients were going to be you know, where I lived was like young families and people who, who knew themselves as former athletes, right? And so we were always competitive. So I'm like, I'm going to open up a gym and I'm going to be drill sergeant AJ and I'm going to be yelling at people and it's going to be, I'm going to crush people. My first clients were 59 years old. <laughs> I was like, oh, awesome. a whole different program here. So I adjusted it. And, and now I would tell you that the people that really got me connected with that were those two first two people. Their their names Bill and Anita Archer. They're the, they're my first members. Wow. Their son is is uh, works for a unit in the military that is uh, one of the elites. And so he's the one who called me because they they actually do functional fitness uh, as a requirement for their training. And he kind of right. vetted me to make sure I wasn't going to hurt his mom and dad. Cool. And um, they came in. His mom has scoliosis and osteoporosis. We've reversed the osteoporosis. 
since they started just by lifting weights and the scoliosis has stopped progressing because she strengthened her core and her back. So now it's almost like there's a brace, right? Her erectors and the muscles that are there almost work as a brace now to keep it from getting worse. And, um, Working with them is really where the passion came. It was like, wow. When I started, you know, Bill, he's a pilot, just retired as a, as a career pilot, commercial pilot. And he said, AJ, the best thing you ever did for me was take away my pain. Like to get out of the cockpit was so difficult because I sit for so long. And that was my first like. You're not wow, even a doctor. To... Yeah, yeah. Th- there's more yeah. to this than just training people. And so that's really where oh. it started was with them. And, and then the more and more people come in. I mean, I celebrate. The, I celebrate the wins for people that would maybe not be as credited as something big, right? Somebody yeah. can go run a 400 meter run and not stop. That's a huge win. And I yeah. get I get as excited for that as I do watching the elites on my rush club stage, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's that person's world just changed. How they know themselves and what they're capable of, they just had a state change in their mind and I got to be a part of that. So. so it sounds like you started the business for yourself, not even the, not even realizing all the lives you change. But yeah, you know, I think I'm right in saying that you just keep motivating to keep growing as yourself. The more people come in, and the more you're able to help them. Yep, exactly. That's that's yeah. how it's been going. <laughs> well, that's awesome. That's really exciting. Uh, you know, that's what we look for: trusted business owners that people watching can connect with. We definitely want to encourage anyone in the Mesa, Mesa area, right? To reach out to you guys. Yeah. Let's talk about the gym real quick. Um, when are you opening? What's the date on that? Or I know you can't probably say the exact date, but when you hope to be open by? Uh, I am hoping to be open in this new building by 1st of February. Okay. Um, it's looking pretty good, but we've been dealing with city codes and things like that. <laughs> um, the That's why I said gym. no exact date. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I mean, like, I thought I was naively, I thought I was going to be here November 1st and here we are. And you guys can see there's a lot to go still. Um, and just some things with the city kept coming up, different code changes and all this fun stuff that I wasn't projecting. So we should be first of February. Um, the, uh, fully operational running first of February as the new location. What do I expect when I first walk in the doors? When you first walk in the doors, you're going to see a big open facility, right? So, the, the, uh, that was really important to me. We were in a place that had the low set hanging ceilings and that kind of stuff. Now we're back in, even though it's a retail spot, we're back in a, in a warehouse feel. But the biggest thing you're going to feel is our number one focus is community. I actually, I actually don't, the training is secondary to the community, to how you feel when you walk in. So I have this belief that if I'm a world-class trainer, but I'm an a-hole, nobody's going to show up and then therefore it doesn't matter what I know. True. True. But if you really like to be here and you, you like me and my coaches and we engage well and the community feels great. And when you walk in, you feel like it's your home, your community. If our training is good, maybe not expert, but good. And you're here seven days a week, five days a week, you're going to benefit from it more than the guy you don't want to see. Cause he's a jerk, even though he knows everything. And so our training is great and we create that environment because that is our focus. And so that's, I hope you'll feel more than you see, but when you walk in, you're just going to see a beautiful building that, that uh, has a lot of uh, photos of our community and people doing hard work and just kind of uh, right when you walk in, the first thing you'll see that I should have maybe led with this. We have what's called a legacy wall. Okay. The legacy wall is, um, there's stones and every stone has the name of a soldier killed in Iraq and Afghanistan since the war started. And so my gym community about three years ago on Memorial day, we took this project on and we just brought buckets and buckets and buckets of stones about almost 10,000. And we just started writing. And so that day we knocked, we, we took out a huge chunk on Memorial day. And then over the three months after everybody finished a workout, they'd come up to the desk write a few names, cross them off the list, and we kept going that way until it was done. So the first thing you'll see when you walk in is the, the legacy wall okay. so we can pay tribute to those guys. Wow. And then next to, that's our, um, next to that is our, our goals wall for our members. So you can come in and see who's got goals set and the date that those are set for and uh, so we can support each other in reaching those. 
I think that's incredible what you do. You know, not only just have people come and work out, you make them feel like they're part of the team, right? The community, yeah. make them feel special, do whatever you can to help them with their goals. Um, somebody comes in, is it a gym membership, open gym, one-on-one -on -one classes? How does that work real quick? Yeah. Yeah, good question. So it's a, it's a gym membership. We keep it simple. It's 145 a month, 12-month um, commitment because we're going to get to know you. We want to make sure that you want to be here. Yeah. So 145 a month, we make it simple. And then I teach one-on-one uh, -on -one skills classes. I don't do personal training because the, the programming we do is good for everybody. Yeah. So you don't need special programming. But let's say you want to get better at your cleans and you don't want to wait for the natural timing and progression of that, I'll do one-on-one -on -one coaching for you know learning cleans and pull-ups and handstand push-ups so skill stuff more than personal training okay what about events you have events going on uh that people can join uh, once they join yeah. the gym or come check you guys out yeah so we have a an event uh we're hosting the garage games on february 3rd cool. so yeah so that'll hopefully be our grand opening february you better 3rd. be open by then uh yeah exactly so february 3rd and we're hoping to be able to do it here at the new location if not it'll be at our current one so that's coming up. You can come and watch or participate. Uh, go to Rush Club, uh, Rush Club Human Performance Center's Facebook page, and you'll be able to find that stuff. Um, and we also host, uh, we're going to be hosting our Rush Club event, and it's head-to-head -head weight class competition. It's more for spectators. It's for guys like you and me to come and get inspired to keep going to the gym. Certainly, they're way beyond what I can do as, in terms of ability. So, But cool. that'll be hosted now in the gym here, and, and those will be every three months or so um, throughout the year. All right, so we're ready to get signed up right now. We're watching a website to go to rushclubhpc.com, uh, right? Rushclubhpc.com, yep. Okay. And then where yeah, are you guys, the, all... yeah, when they go there, what, what do you want them to do? Schedule that free assessment? Is that the main thing you want, you know, somebody yeah, so watching right a, now? Yeah, so there's a tab right there on the home screen, schedule your free assessment, come in, meet with me. That's really an opportunity for me to get to talk to you, right? Yeah. It's not, not a movement assessment. It's a who you are, what your goals, and are we going to be a good fit for each other? Yeah, making sure everyone's a good fit. I think that's always good that you do that before somebody joins. You don't want them signing up for that 12-minute commitment and just finding out it's not a good fit. But, you know, getting to know you, we think it is. I think it's awesome what you guys are doing. Um, and also, a lot of people like to get started on social. Where are you the most active at on social media? Um, we're most active on Rush Club HPC uh, on Instagram. Okay. And Rush Club Nation on Instagram would be where you'd find most activity. Okay, cool. Yeah. Guys, I want to encourage you guys to reach out to AJ, even if you're just traveling to the Mesa area, or if you live in that area, check out the new gym, even check out the gym he's got open right now. Um, he's a trusted business owner. We definitely recommend him. And I think it's awesome what you guys are doing, AJ. So thank you so much for doing that. Keep helping more people, keep helping change lives and uh, keep up the good work. Awesome. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate it. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner and founder of HealthLinks.com. It's my mission and my passion to help others with their business. So if I can be your coach, your mentor, or help you in any way, that's my goal. My goal is to bring you value. So let me know if there's anything I can help you with, and I look forward to working with you.